I'm telling you. That is a mean ass gangster superfly name. When I was first starting, I was you know, 13 years old, walking in with my little Timberlands and my little headphones, diddy bopping a reasonable doubt. Cause you can't knock the hustle. There's nothing that prepares you for that. What is that? And where are you? And what is this world? And you're in this place. And the place you've only seen on TV your whole life. And suddenly you're inserted into it. I am the person that you know. There's no big character that suddenly emerges. You know what I mean? Even if you called yourself Alicia Wilde, would that still have been the same thing? We might have had a, you know, I don't know, <laughs> a different kind of thing happening. I'm so glad that didn't happen. And suddenly people are pouring all of these praises upon you and you just feel like you're just a girl from, you know, Harlem and Hell's Kitchen and you're like, what's happening? It's like an animal that was ready to devour me. There's just comes a point where if you're going to be attacked by an animal, you have to figure out how to fight. I think of myself as a very everyday type of person, searching for my path. What was the little, um, the little hip hop part of the front? The little, you played the little. Um, oh, thing, thing, that's who shot you. Who shot you? I'm about to say, I'm about to say. Well, no, no. Some play. people don't catch that. You're connected. You're good. We first met right before Diary was going to come out. I guess it was like 2004. We talked about becoming a star and, and just how that felt. And, you know, two years ago you were in Hell's Kitchen. You know, that story. We met three years later, right before As I Am, and we had a different conversation. This one was about the need you had to take some time off mm -hmm. and kind of step away. Mm -hmm. You felt stressed and, and your music was coming out in ways that was unfamiliar to you. Um, now on the Eve of Element of Freedom, where are you now? Love is like the sea, leaves you on your knees, feel it pull you in, then it takes you, takes you over, over. Continuing to learn, because it's a constant reevaluation, but I feel like I've learned that there's a place where I'm comfortable, and there's a place that becomes uncomfortable. And so I have to stop the train before it gets uncomfortable. Because no one's going to stop the train for you. And I have to say, wait, babe, right. are you feeling a little right. exhausted? You look a little... You look a little tired. No matter who you are, it's very important to guard your spirit. You have to protect your spirit. Because once your spirit is broken, it's very hard to put it back together. Sometimes you just need to start again in order to fly. Let's talk about your new album. It feels like As I Am was about falling in love, and these seem to be about holding on to it, or at least not losing it. This music, it comes from many different places, many different situations, and that was why I chose to call it the element of freedom. When you listen to this music, you're going to hear me in so many new ways. What does the piano mean to you? We all need a place where we can close the door and be private. In your own room, in your own house, with your own thoughts. Being in the studio is like being in an incubator. And it's totally peaceful. You're able to kind of, you know, create this your own little world. Nothing is there to get in the way. It's that place where I can free myself. When it is just definitely me and my piano and a room. Try sleeping in my bed Lonely 